Hello, Band in a Box users. This is Henry Clark, Henry Clark's channel. And today, we're going to talk about styles, right? Uh, I'm not talking about, you know, the styles from Paris or Rome. I'm talking about styles and Band in a Box because it seems to be one of the most frequently asked questions on the forum is people want to know what style did you use for this song or that song or whatever, right? I've used, I've had Band in a Box for quite a while. And I have over 5,000 styles, right? And I know that for a fact that files can be one of the, uh, styles can be one of the most frustrating things that ever when you're trying to find a, you're trying to do a song and you're trying to find a style that works with that song, you know, that, that the people that made it use a certain style, right? And we all want to kind of be close to the record. Some of us want to sound just like the record. <laughs> Never going to happen because you don't have a million dollar studio, so you're not going to sound like a record. But you do try to find a style that's close to it. So this, I have a tip for you today that will help you hopefully get closer to finding a style that will work with the song you're trying to do versus going through all of those different styles that are out there. You know, I mean, if you're doing rock, the last thing you want to do is try to go through a stack of gothic styles or something like that, right? You know, but anyway, hopefully this will work for you. And um, we know, again, I know styles are so frustrating. They make you want to break your computer sometimes. Another thing about styles, you know, or you go and you're searching through so many styles all night long, right? You, you look like a vampire, right? You know? <laughs> but one of the things about styles is that when you find a great style, man, I mean, it's like, voila. It's like, it's so cool, you know, right? It's like, it's like the price is right. It's like, come on down, you know. That's the, the elation you get when you find the right style. So hopefully, oh, and another thing too is also is that sometimes you find a style that you hadn't thought about before that works with a song. And it sounds just fantastic. I mean, I did that Todd Rundgren um, song, and I had no idea that that style would be as, as, as effective as it was when I put the song together. I just stumbled upon it, you know. So that happens too. Hang with me for a minute or two, and I'm going to show you Henry's tip on trying to find a style quicker for the music that you, or the song that you are actually trying to put together. So be right back. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay, so I'm in my DAW now, right? DAW, I mean, I'm, in my, I'm, so, I'm in my band in the box now, right? And again, we're going to do two songs today, right? So one of the songs I picked was Tell It Like It Is by Aaron Neville. Everybody's heard of Tell It Like It Is, I'm sure. So what I did was, again, I typed the chords in first, right? So I typed the chords to the song in first. And if you remember my video, putting it in your key. So you got to put it in your key. So at least you can try to sing it a little bit anyway. So I put it in my in my band in the box, right? And I changed the key to a key that I'm okay with. It's not one of my favorite songs, but it's a good song for demonstration purposes. So what it sounded like is that I just I decided to choose this style of 12-8 organ and piano blues to try to get the song going. And it sounds like this. Uh, if you want someone to play with, I would find you a Maybe my time is too expensive. Anyway, so that's kind of what I came up with, right? So I said, okay, let's try some different styles. So here's what I did. Henry's tip. So I went to style, style picker, and I typed in the song itself. So I typed in, tell it like it is, tell it like it is, and, and there it is. You just notice this Aaron Neville, tell it like it is, R&B soul. So hit enter, and it gives me, it gives me styles that would possibly work with that song which is really important. So I'm not going to take you through all these. Again, I've, I've got like over 5,000 styles. So I'm not, I'm not going to go through 5,000 styles to try to find this thing. So I'm going to type in that song. Like I said, I'm going to type in that song and see what the system gives me. What the system gives me that's most closer to what I might want to do. So I tried a couple of styles, right? You know, just to kind of see what I could get out of it. So I tried acoustic piano, 12-8 country, which is down here, right? So I said, ah, this might be a pretty good one right here. Now I can preview that style. Uh, right here, I can preview that style and see what it sounds like. Kind of give me an idea. Sometimes it takes a while for it to generate, but uh, uh, okay, that's kind of dragging, but I kind of like that. So I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to load it in and see what it sounds like. So I'm going to go ahead and generate it. And my puppy is down there making noise downstairs. So, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and see what it sounds like now. Again, this is acoustic, acoustic piano 12 bit country. See what we get here. Ah, uh, that's way too slow. So now I gotta stop. I gotta change this tempo. 
I'm gonna put it up to like 72. So I'll put it up to 72, see what we get here now. Kinda like it. And it's okay, it's okay, you know. So again, but I'm playing with styles and I'm trying to find something that works. And that may work for you if you're trying to do something like that, right? So that was Acoustic Country. So my next one I'm going to try, I was going to try another one. So I'm going to go back to my style menu. Now my styles are still there from Aaron Neville, right? So like I said, I found a style. I said, oh, let me try this style. It's called Weeping, right? Because he kind of crying in this thing, right? So let me see what I can get out of Weeping on this thing, right? So there's Weeping all the way down the bottom. Again, all of these styles are supposed to be somewhat compatible with tell it like it is so now i'm gonna bring up weeping see what that sounds like against this right you know um see what we get here and again and these these are our sketch pads of things that you could try to that you could try to use to try to get going right so here's weeping it's down to 60 B bpms so i need to bring that back up to 72 Oh, that was way up. I put like 572, which is probably a little fast. So I put it on 72, and I'm going to go ahead and generate this, and let's see what we get out of weeping. I didn't like that one as much either. That's kind of trying to go poppy, right? I want the song to stay a little bit, a little bit in that country dynamic, right? So I so scratch weeping, right? So I'm gonna do one more. So I did that, I did weeping. So I'm gonna do Texas blues. See what I get out of Texas blues. Again, I go back to my style picker, and guess what? And again, all of my Aaron Neville stuff is still there. So I'm gonna try 12 Texas 12-8 blues because it seems like it works well with a 12-8 thing, right? So I'm going to 12-8, and I'm not gonna play, I'm just gonna try and generate that to save time. And let's see what we get if we try this in 12-8. There we go. Again, this is Texas Blues. See what we get. Oh, this guy hitting those trills, isn't he? <laughs> I kind of like it without the piano, you know what I mean? And I'm not your boy. I kind of like it with the guitar. <laughs> so that's Texas Blues 12 bit. I kind of like it, but I don't like that piano. I, I, the piano trills are okay if it's the solo portion, but I could also use a nice a nice chord structured piano that's playing, maybe some sustained chords or something like that. So I'm gonna go back to my original. My original, what was my original now? I gotta figure out what my, oh, my original was re, was Relieve, I think it's something like that. So let me go back and see if I can find Relieve in here somewhere, right? Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna try to find Relieve in here and see if I can go back to my original pattern. Well, here it is, because I like that organ that was in there, right? Again, all of these styles are supposed to work with this song, and they do. You just got to go through a few, see what you like. If, if One thing I will tell you is that if, if 12 8, if 12 8 works for you, then just stay with the 12 8 patterns. Don't start looking at the other stuff. 12 8 does you fine, and that's what you need to go with. So I need to, un, need to unmask this piano here, and let's see what we get now. We're going to try to do this thing in 12 8, relieve 12 8, organ piano blues, and see what we get here, you know. Um, because I like the organ. I like that. Don't like the drums, so. So that's it. So I would brush the drums up, but I like this pattern. And again, this is a sketch pad, something to start with, but this is how I pick styles 
in, in, in songs when I want to do it. Instead of going through that whole style thing, right? I uh, type in the chords, try to find a song that I like. And I will try to play around with a pattern against that song to see what it works again. I always try to put the song in my key or a key, at least that I can kind of kind of screech through, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm not really singing this one, but kind of screech, screech through it and see what we get. So that's Tell It Like It Is. And again, that's Tell It Like It Is. I put it in C sharp and I'm using the pattern of Relieve 12-8 organ in piano blues because I typed in Style Picker. I typed in the name of the song and it gave me some recommended styles that would suit that. And I found three that I really like instead of me going through a thousand or going through 5,000 or whatever, right? Once I found out that it worked in 12-8, then I looked more closer at styles that were in 12-8. So that's Tell It Like It Is. Now I'm going to do one more just to give, just kind of get this cemented in to show you that it's not just that particular one song. So I'm going to do one more. So I will hold on one second and I will be, let me just transition to doing one more. Two, three, go. Okay, so I'm back. So again, so the next song I'm going to do is Marvin Gaye, What's Going On, right? You know, again, and and just, boy, what appropriate time for that, huh? Especially with what's going on right now. What is going on? But anyway, so I'm going to do Marvin Gaye, What's Going On, right? So I found a style that I already like, right? So I'm not going to play that one for you, right? I'm not going to play that one at all for you. I'm going to save that one for you, right? But I just want to show you what I did again. So I'm going to go to Style Picker. I'm going to go to Style Picker. And I'm going to type in up again in the box. I'm going to type in the box again. What's going on? Let's see what we get here. And there it is, Marvin Gaye. What's going on, right? So I hit that and I hit enter. And it finds me some styles that might go with this what's going on, right? So again, so uh, the first one that pops up is 16th Funk with Electric Piano. Let's see what that's like, right? So I'm, gonna go ahead, I'm, I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to go ahead and try it for you. You, could, you should demo it, but I'm save time. I'm going to just go ahead and play it. And see what we come up with, right? So this is this is Funk Marvin Gaye 16 with electric piano. Oh, oh, whoa, that's gonna be something, right? You know. Anyway, so this is what it sounds like. It's not bad. I'm screwing the words up totally. You know, you've got to find a way <laughs> to bring some love in here today. So that's swinging 16 funk, right? I know I totally screwed the words of all you Marvin Gaye fans. That's not the point. It's not the point here. The point here is to try to find a style that works, right? So that was that was funk 16. So let's try another one. Let's try, let's just go back to our search window again. Our search is still there for Marvin Gaye. So let's try soul food smooth. Then we can try some soul food smooth and see what we get. So let me just generate soul food smooth. Let's see what we got of soul food smooth. I always love those kind of beats, I tell you. Nice smooth jazz beat. Crying, I'm still getting it bad. Okay, so I kind of like that one there. That works, that works, right? I kind of like that one there. That's smooth jazz style. So I'm going to try one more for you just to go to show you. And again, I am still at my screen, as you've noticed, I'm wearing my mouse moving around. That's looking at songs or looking at styles that are that will work with Marvin Gaye, what's going on, right? So another one was, oh, let me see, it was um, smooth pop cool jazz. Seems like they like that jazz tone there, right? Um, I, guess, I guess PG Music picked it. But anyway, so we're going to try, so let's just try the smooth jazz, pop smooth jazz cool against it and see what we get. Oh, I really love to see. I like that. Now I'm going to take that guitar at this point. Father, 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 Father. Father, Father, Father. There's far too many. 
That's one's pretty cool there, right? I like the smooth jazz style for that song, you know. So anyway, so I'm going to go with the smooth jazz style. I'm going to try to find one more smooth jazz file. And I had picked one earlier, right? It was, uh, was it Jazz 4? I had picked one. I think it was Jazz 4 or something like that, which really worked really well. That one's pretty cool, too. So I like the smooth jazz with the, with the, with the guitar. I love guitar stuff. It just seems like it works, right, you know. Uh, I'm going to try it against that and see, what, and see how things work out. Um, let me take this out. Oh, see, I really like that. Take the soloist out, of course. Father, 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 there's far too many of you dying. I like that. So that's one that I would personally go with if I was doing this. But again, what I'm trying to show you is I'm trying to show you how you could use Style Maker by typing in the song first. So again, so you go in, you look up at the box up top here, you type the song that you're looking for or a song that's, that's close to what you're looking for. Which is and, and and you and you do that and guess what and you come up with some some really good stuff there you know because Van the Box will give you styles that work with that type of song is what you want to do so you do that and guess what and boom and there you go so now you have a good starting off point and again these songs that I'm talking about they are standards they still require some orchestration you know I might add some strings I might add some horns matter of fact I'm going to just take a if give one minute I'm going to show you I was working on this this Marvin Gaye song, and um, I took it a little bit further by adding some other elements in there just to give you an idea. I hope I can find it here. I don't want to take all your time up. Uh, what's going on? Let me see. Maybe this is it right here. I, I can tell because I, it was, ah, here we go. Yeah, so if you check it out now, I've added some other elements in the song itself, put more orchestration in there, and uh, this is what I got when I finished uh, working with it, you know. Um, needs to say you know what I now you know my you know what I always do right so I have to take those ooze out so I'm gonna go here real quick real quick lesson on it I'm gonna take those ooze out at bar five I'm gonna take the ooze out I'm gonna take the saxophone out I don't need those playing at that point in time right so let me take my let me take my ooze out take these ooze out I'm gonna mute those ooze and I'm gonna mute that sax mute that sax right there so I don't have to worry about you know hit highlighting you know, the, the bar nothing like that right so now when I generate everything is gonna be pretty cool here Again, again, I'm just just kind of starting on this one here, you know. But again, it's it works. Now they're gonna be gone. So that's it. That's it, guys. I'm just trying to show you all how Henry finds styles. Instead of me going through the 5,000 styles that I have, what I do is I go type the chords of the song that I'm looking for or the chords of a song that I think I might want to do. Open up Style Picker here. Type the name of the song that I'm looking for in here. Again, tell it like it is. And Aaron Neville pops up. I have to go. I got to type it right first. Hold on. I don't know. Tell it like it is, and Aaron Neville pops up. 
tell it I still I still even like that. <laughs> tell it tell it like Aaron, and, and and Aaron Neville pops up and I get styles that the system says would be appropriate for this. And again, and sometimes you can find some really cool stuff too, you know, because sometimes like maybe the sax, I might take that sax solo from the blues, um, from the blues one, the blues style, right? I may take an organ from something else, right? And put it together. So that's how I do it. I hope this helps. I don't want to take too long, but I hope this helps you all in getting in, in, a, in a way of trying to not have to go through so many styles when you're trying to do something. Okay. So see you next time. Bye.